like storm. Oh no, dog. The trees be cracking, child. You got to be careful. Please don't follow my house. Please don't follow my house. Please don't follow my house. Yeah, the damn branches cracking. Uh-oh. I see one branch look like it's going to fall on the fence. It's a nice breeze, though. <gasps> I hate lightning. the rest of the week we are leaving for maine tomorrow i do have a shirt on you guys Ooh. you know girls with with the boobies y'all understand i swear boobies make you look bigger than you actually are because one of my cousins is like the exact same size as me she's like a 10 12 and she, but she doesn't have boobies and she looks so much smaller than I do like she looks tiny and because I have these big fat bomb <laughs> on my chest it makes me look so much heavier you know and we're really petite most of the women in my family are really petite you know we're small small hands small feet small limbs short um but the ones that got the boobies, it just makes you look heavier than you are. It's about to pour down raining. I saw lightning on the highway and I was like, yo, let me go. The craziest thing is that the new route that I'm taking, which is actually an old route that I used to take and then I stopped taking it because it's like always accidents on this route. And for the last few days, I've been doing great. Sailing through, no accidents, no issues today run into an accident and i still got home 20 minutes faster than if i would have took the other route which is usually i think it's shorter but there's a lot more stop and go and it's not as many lanes so the traffic moves slower as well because you know you got to be more careful i don't know how it all works out but even with the accident slowing me down, I must have sat in traffic like 5 to 15 minutes. I still got home 20 minutes but then normally if I would have took the other route. I'm super hyped, you guys. Um, I've been to Maine before. This is our third time, I think. Our third time going to Maine. Hubby, if, you, if you're if you familiar with my husband, um, he usually makes all the plans for like our trips and things like that. So I don't know where we're staying. I do know where we're going, but I don't know where we're staying I know he told me some things that we could do. I think we're kind of winging it. We don't really have a like concrete itinerary. I think we're going to stay until Sunday, either Saturday or Sunday. I guess we'll decide, you know, depending on how it is. I'm glad the temperature is actually going to be cooling down tonight. It's going to rain and I think it's going to cool down. Tomorrow's supposed to be um, like low 80s, which is great. And it's supposed to be way less humidity. So that's good. Chunky obviously is going to be going to the uh, pet resort because he ain't coming to me. Um, oh shit, which means I have to pack his food and shit. I forgot all about that. I might vlog a little bit tonight. Me getting myself together. Child, I don't know 
when y'all see this clip? I don't know. I don't now. I'm like battling. Do I show the newest stuff or do I show the older stuff? I'm just mixing it all in together. This is why I put the date and the time on my video videos again that started because i needed to keep track of my own life my own shit and when i look back on my videos i like to know when and where you know what was going on it's my video diary but you guys get to be a part of it and i'm so appreciative i love you guys so much um and i got some comments today i screenshotted them i think i'm gonna put them on instagram and you guys let me tell you something um for the most part y'all know i'm a no-nonsense type of person but yo i swear i'm such a softy when it comes to people and especially people who appreciate me <laughs> me just being my normal self you know what i mean like not on here pretending not on here trying to do the most to get the most or whatever like i'm just doing me i'm recording you know things that i choose to share with you guys and i'm just living my life day by day good bad whatever i don't share every single thing i do keep a lot of things off of the internet as well and i think i've gotten better with the balance of things because uh even though i'm sharing a lot more i'm still very private with a lot of things that go on but i think you guys are able to follow my journey now because it obviously i'm doing a lot better as far as recording i think i'm uploading like every few days now y'all know i don't think i've ever 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 been this consistent how long i've been on youtube y'all somebody play the comments but where you at came to youtube <laughs> my old tubies y'all gonna get a kick out of that y'all do get a kick out of that when i say that um yeah so that is the plan thank you guys so much so much so much so much love you guys so much thank you for your comments the comments actually do keep me motivated to continue to record because although i do like vlogging and recording and editing and bringing my shit to life i still sometimes be like yeah i don't want to be bothered with this shit like it's it's a lot you know i'm back to work now full-time back to work full-time wife full-time entrepreneur full-time caretaker everybody and a mama um so it's a lot it's a lot I always have a lot going on but i do like i said enjoy capturing my life and i do uh enjoy sharing my my journey with you guys and you you guys that comment and you communicate with me we talk about things some of us communicate outside of youtube i'm appreciative and y'all keep me going. Y'all keep me motivated. I thank y'all. I thank y'all for even taking the time out to comment on my videos. I always say this. None of y'all have to comment on my videos. You don't have to take the time to be watching my 35, 40, 45 minute videos. <laughs> y'all know I really try to keep those at a minimum. But sometimes, depending on what's going on in a day or if I'm talking about something that I'm very passionate about, y'all know it, it could. Look, I'm already talking seven minutes. Seven minutes. I got a whole vlog. Anywho, I appreciate you guys. You know, long videos, short videos, entertainment videos, information videos, me going off on a motherfucker video, you know, haul videos, self-care videos, health videos y'all support me and y'all support all of those videos and i'm super appreciative and i got a little click my little squad my two bees leave y'all bees in the comments eh, 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 eh. um i appreciate y'all so much and i still want to do a shout out video because like i said there's so many dope youtubers you guys there's so many people that i think are so so dope that do not get the recognition that they deserve you know what i mean i remember when i first started youtube i had so many people like oh my god you have you deserve so many more views you you're so dope you're so funny you're so this and i was getting like 20 000, 30 000 views i only get about three thousand views four thousand maybe the most on certain videos average about two thousand views i was getting way more views back in the day YouTube has definitely changed. YouTube is not what it used to be. I think it's oversaturated to a degree. Everybody's doing, you know, YouTube now. Even the celebrities are, are on these YouTube streets. The celebrities got vlog channels. You know how it goes, you guys. Nothing is ever kept uh, quiet or small. If something's popular or trendy, everybody's going to jump on the bandwagon. Everybody's going to copy. Everybody's going to try to capitalize off of it. Everybody's going to use it to their benefit. And such is life, right? So it is what it is. 
um my poor husband you guys his you, you can't see it anyway he um he drove his drop top yesterday and he hit a fucking pothole and his tire got fucked up bmw tires most of them i think the newer cars i don't know about the older cars but i could be wrong they're run flat which means even if you get a flat you can still drive somehow the bmw tires are made to keep you from getting a flat it gives you time to actually get home or get to a mechanic or tire place to change your tire and the the drop top sits really low and it's really big in the front it kind of looks like a shark in the front the 650 and he can't you can't really see the potholes like in my truck for the most part i'm higher up so i can i can kind of see potholes so you can kind of swerve out the way but in those low cars like that those sports cars you your vision is kind of um not the same so sometimes he hits potholes he's like fuck i didn't even see that and you know you some of these in new york oh my god the potholes are terrible so he he fucked up his tire he said he hit a pot he hit a pothole yesterday so hard that it did something to his mirror so he has to get the mirror fixed and he has to get the tire replaced because we were supposed to take his car to go to maine i'm like yo we got other cars we can take i don't want to put the miles on my car because i'm trying to make my car last <laughs> for a long time we could take the drop because he don't he don't drive that every day. You know what I mean? And he only drive it during the season when it's nice. Winter time comes, the shit is getting um covered and put away. But um I'm like, if you can't get it fixed, it's, we'll just take another car. Like it's not, you know, it's not that serious. But that was the plan. He really likes driving it. It's a fun car to drive. It's fast. It's cool looking. All that, all that. The seats are heated and cooled and whatever. It's a very nice car. I really, I'm happy for him. You know what I mean? My husband waited a long, long time to um, do a lot of the things that he wants to do. You know, because he always put his family first or he put um being responsible first and things like that. So he's put off a lot of things. Now, don't get me wrong. He done had a lot of nice cars but um you know everything in its time and he uh, i vlogged about this but y'all didn't see it yet um if y'all ever see it it was like in the summer <laughs> like uh, yeah last summer and i was telling y'all to hope when he went to get the car and all of that but i never uploaded it you know whatever so now that he has the car i'm just so happy for him because he wasn't gonna even get the car and he's like oh do i really need the car we don't need half the shit that we get and buy or whatever but you heard that if it's something that you want to play with and enjoy your bills are paid you got the money to buy it do it do it do it all right i'm out bye so look y'all it's after 10 o'clock and all i've done so far remember i'm leaving for maine tomorrow all i've done so far is one load of laundry that the first load is in the dryer and now the second load is washing um i've had mad cups of ice <laughs> it's like 99 degrees you hear that let me do y'all see that air condition that air condition is at least 15 years old we've had that air condition maybe yeah about 15 years you can tell it's old it's yellow it's loud but it works it still works my husband was so pissed at me because we had another air condition that was like the btus on it was crazy right so we used to live in riverdale now that i don't live there anymore i could tell y'all so if you're from new york riverdale is in the bronx but no one calls it the bronx because riverdale is the rich part of the bronx i always wanted to live in riverdale and was that a no that was our second apartment it was our second apartment we always had pretty good jobs so we were able to afford the rent we were terrified well not me i wasn't terrified because i knew we could afford it but my husband was like yo the rent is like twelve hundred dollars and i'm like you have a good ass job and i have a good ass job split that down the middle that's only six hundred dollars like it's not a big deal and at the time, I wasn't driving. I didn't have a car, no. I think his car was paid for. He drove an Acura. That's when I fell in love with Acuras. Um, he drove an Acura RL. They don't even make those anymore. 
and it was paid for so i'm like what the hell what are you worried about anyway so when we lived in riverdale and i used to vlog you guys i actually want to find those vlogs because i did delete a lot of them off of my old channel the pink hugs one channel and i saved them somewhere i think on my usb but i do still have some videos on that channel that i still haven't downloaded yet but those are my old, like my first few vlogs. Remember you guys, I used to walk through the streets. I would be going to the post office, um, talking about whatever the hell I was talking about. You remember in the winter time, it would be mad snow on the ground. Here I go vlogging, walking down the street. Those were my Riverdale days, right? So anyway, not this air condition, but the other air condition we had, which was like 20,000 BTUs. It was like a lot of BTUs. I don't even think they make air conditions that put out that amount of power anymore. We use that in Riverdale because in Riverdale, the apartments are really big. Like we had a two bedroom, we had two apartments in Riverdale, but the first apartment was really big. Like the living room, I wouldn't say it's as big as the living room I have now, but it was pretty big and it was like long. So long and wide. So the air condition we had needed to stretch from where the window was all the way basically to the front door right yo that air condition used to have that one air condition used to have the whole house chill cool we just left the doors open and you put it on a timer and it was super cool right but then we moved i don't know to another apartment to another apartment whatever we was looking at damn air condition everywhere and i just got tired of it first of all it was mad loud <laughs> But you don't care when it's hot and you want your, your house cool, your apartment cool. You don't give a shit, right? Okay. But it was mad loud. And it pulled... There's mosquitoes all in here, you guys. It pulled a massive amount of power. The, the fucking Con Ed bill used to be crazy when we used to use the air conditioning. But nobody gave a shit because it was nice and cool. I told my husband... I think when we bought this house because... We have other properties that have like garages and storage so we st our shit is stored all over the place um we don't have to pay for storage anymore because we have acquired you know properties and stuff that have storage so we store a lot of like our extra furnishings y'all have heard me say that i do some staging um not a lot um you know whatever i do it for my own apartments and when uh certain people ask you know like realtors and shit like that i'm like oh i do it on the side and they may ask me and i'll be like for a fee but i don't really do it that often but anyway so we store a lot of like stuff like that and i remember my husband and, and i trying to move that air condition into one of the garages that we have and I was just like, I'm not doing this anymore. I was like, I'm tired of lugging this air condition, you know, all around. And at the time, this house wasn't even nowhere near what it is now. It was a lot worse, you know, a lot. The walls with wallpaper, you know, this house has come a long way. I wish I would have been vlogging when we first got the house, but I hadn't started vlogging again yet. So a lot of stuff I don't think I really recorded. I might have taken a few pictures here and there, but I, I didn't really record, like, the whole process. So y'all kind of missed out on those days. I think I was posting stuff on Instagram. Like, I posted, you know, when we had a basketball hoop, but we ended up taking that down because nobody playing basketball here, really. Like, and it was just in the way of where we needed to park our car. So we ended up taking the basketball hoop down. What else did I post? I posted when I got these living room floors done. Did y'all see? If I find a picture, I'll put it up here. Did y'all see how disgusting those floors were? They were terrible. They're not terrible now, but they do have mad scratches from Chunky. And my husband and I, both our hearts were broken once we saw how bad these floors were scratched. But I think about like the old buildings and stuff in New York and Harlem and like the brownstones and like the theaters and things like that that have like this old school wide wood plank floors. There's tons of scratches in them, they, but they just polish them and they have character and they still look good. So that's how I'm trying to look at it. You know, I kind of wanted everything to be super perfect. like. But ain't shit perfect and I wanted a dog so this is what comes with a dog and now that we've been living in the living room while construction is being done in other parts of the house I, I have to deal with it right okay so that was one of the other things we had got done and it cost a lot of money you guys to restore these floors that's what hurts the most like I mean eventually I knew I was going to get a dog at some point but I don't think I was thinking like <laughs> you know my floors would be messed up but whatever that's it's gone it's done it's going to be the same thing upstairs I feel like but it'll be mostly area rugs upstairs so he won't be able to scratch the whole damn floor even in here is area rugs but a lot of the floor is exposed 
yeah. So that air condition, I made my husband get rid of it. We ended up driving all around everywhere trying to donate the shit because it was still a good air condition. But because it was huge, it was like so heavy and, and big and clunky. Nobody wanted to take it. Like none of the, you know, no, Goodwill didn't want to take it. Um, brothers and sisters, like all these places around here, nobody wanted to take it. Eventually, I think we ended up finding some place that was like, oh, we'll take it or whatever. I don't remember what it was. Um, or who it was, I really don't remember. And then now, my husband's like, where is that? So funny, because I'm like, dude, don't you remember we donated it? He's like, I don't remember that. I'm like, yo, how don't you remember that? Like, we was driving around for hours trying to find a place to dump this damn air condition. And he's like, yo, I don't remember that, because he was looking for that air condition last night to put in here. And I'm like, we don't have that air condition anymore. We got rid of it. He was like, you mean you got rid of it? I'm like, I didn't get rid of it. We made a group decision that we was going to get rid of that big old piece of hunk of junk, because now the new air conditions, they're so sleek and slim line. Like, the, the air, we have two more air conditions um here so one i used to use upstairs in the bedroom it's, it's smaller it's quiet it's a lot more modern um but it's still not as modern as some of the, the new ones i've seen a lot of nice air conditions a lot you can control from the app which i really like because you can kind of cool your home before you get there or set it up however you want you know to come on at a certain time and i just love 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 that they also make plugs that you can um, use to plug into your appliances that are controlled by an app. I actually have one, but it never worked because it said I needed to hook it up to my iPad. And remember, y'all, I told y'all the reason why I got a new iPad is because my old iPad Mini, it just, it wasn't working the same. A lot of this stuff didn't work. I think the technology, you know, Apple, you don't update your shit. They don't let you update it, you know, after a certain time. So it was, it was just trash. Um, so it, I didn't have the new iPad at the time. But now I have a new iPad. Maybe I'll try to re-hook up that I got the whole purpose of me buying it was in the winter time when I used to have to leave Chunky um, in the house by itself. I wanted to be able to control the heat how I wanted it. You know, put it on a timer, get the room warm. Before he even got in the room, turn it off when I thought it reached a certain temperature, all of that. And I think it was called Venmo or something. I ordered it from Amazon. It was like 50 bucks. The technology seemed cool, but I have not really actually used it yet because... It says I have to hook it up to an iPad. I might be able to hook it up to the iPhone 12 because the iPhone 12 is like the latest technology. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. I don't even know where it is, to be honest with you. So, I'm gonna... My husband said he was gonna lay down for a few minutes. We both work today. And he been laying down for hours. But I'm not gonna bother him because, again, it's 90-some degrees. He's in his study. He has the fan on. He's gonna have to get an air condition for that room, too. And now that we have insulated the house, you guys, there's no, like, real air flowing through the house. Like, you're, you're going to have to have a cool, you're going to have to have air conditioning upstairs. Because um, before, you know, there was, like, openness, which allowed the house to be cooler at night, I want to say. You know, because the temperature drops and that sort of stuff. There's nothing coming through, y'all. There's no, there's no air coming through. So, um, we're definitely going to have to, to make sure that there's going to be air conditions. Basically, I'm not going to say in every room, but in certain areas where we can keep most of the house cool when we need to. I think somebody asked me, or I might have mentioned it. My girlfriend definitely asked me today because now people know that I have this house. I think I spoke about this before, but I, I don't feel like getting into it. And she asked me why didn't we get central air? It would cost a ridiculous amount of money for us to try to convert this house to put central air. And to me, central air is not necessary for us. Like, there's so many rooms in this house. Like, you can only use one room at a time. Why would I spend fifty, sixty thousand dollars? Because that's how much they quoted us to open these walls, to run ducts, to do all this work. This is an older, traditional, colonial house. They ain't have central air back then. <laughs> you know, like to to try to put that modern stuff in and break up my nice crown molding, and for them to try to put it back, it's gonna cost way too much money. It, we're not doing that. Um, you can only be in one room at a time. So whatever room we're in or whatever room we use most, that will be where we decide to place like the air conditions and stuff. And then we do have overhead fans, which actually help. Not, they don't help when it's 99 degrees. But <laughs> in other um, incidences, you know, like if it's warm in the house, the fans going definitely keep the rooms cool. Even in my old house, we had got overhead fans installed and it really, really made a difference. Chunky's acting really weird, but I think because it's hot, he's not as active. Because he's taking mad naps, yo. Like, I mean, he's on his fourth nap. 
mind you, he's been home sleep all day. Okay. So, yeah, I just came to, like, update y'all. I actually want to edit this vlog and what I vlogged earlier. Um, probably not tonight because it's already 10 o'clock and I am getting kind of tired. I still have to put that last load of clothes in the laundry and I have to figure out some outfits. So, I did do the haul, the, um, rainbow haul. I'm going to try to also load that within the next day or so. I guess I could edit because it takes five hours to get to Maine. I'm hoping my husband does not ask me to drive. If he's going to be driving his Beamer, he's definitely not going to ask me to drive because he don't want me driving that shit. But if we drive my car, then he might be like the last hour or something like, oh, can you drive? It's basically a straight route. So I don't know. But if I don't drive, I'm going to have my iPad. I'm going to definitely try to edit everything i've vlogged today which will probably be about 40 minutes because y'all know i just talk 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 but i'll be trying to give y'all like ex actually what's going on um, a real interpretation of what's going on in my life um i did the rainbow haul i vlogged in my car for like 10 minutes i am vlogging now this is what 10 15 minutes i don't know and uh yeah so in my husband's car if he takes the bima the trunk is super small he already told me because i was gonna bring my little rolly suitcase it's like a teeny tiny like weekender he was like yeah that's not gonna fit in the trunk and i'm like what he's like bring a duffel bag so i guess i'll just bring the duffel bag i brought when we stayed at the hotel when they was doing the installation that's that's basically i mean that's all i have anyway i got the, i got a gucci duffel and i got a steve madden um duffel i hauled a long long time ago um the gucci is kind of small but i usually throw like my um hair products like my hair hair products my toothpaste like my my beauty stuff right um i usually throw all of that into the gucci bag and then the steve madden bag is where i can put my clothes and we're gonna be gone for four days thursday friday saturday and sunday thursday friday saturday and sunday and that's a lot of days and especially because i don't know what we're gonna get into we're kind of like just winging it so you know you have to have an outfit for dinner well more than one outfit for dinner you have to have an outfit if you uh go on an activity then you come home, come back you change then you have to have an outfit let's say you wanna i don't know go swimming like it's, it's a lot it's a lot um i want to re-dye my hair as you can see my custom color what all I mean by custom color is that it's a few colors that I combine. I usually do this. If you've been watching for a while, then this is not new to you. But for everybody that's new and you haven't been watching me for all the years, I combine a few colors to get the exact color that I want. Because I never really like any individual color. Like, I always have to combine a few colors to get the color that I want. So this is like, this color is like three different colors and a toner and um once my hair starts growing out which my hair grows really fast as you can see my the, the dark part is my natural hair it's already growing out so i want it to be you know more uniform and y'all know the grays the grays child the grays if i could get me a patch a nice patch now nah, i don't think i'm gonna stop dying my hair not yet i like how my hair looks dyed so that's the happening my mom's hair you guys i would never put her on blast but she like and i'm like yo if i just never if i just let my hair go am i gonna end up with like all silver hair i don't think so because i've gone months without dyeing my hair and it hasn't it hasn't turned white it'll just have like these little sprig you know the little spriggly sprigs but again i've had gray hair since i was like 23 24 definitely a hereditary thing or whatever because everybody on my mom's side of the family they started graying super fast my dad although he's balding he has not one gray hair not one and i'm like motherfucker because all the stress you put us through we got all the gray hairs from your ass <laughs> but he don't have no gray hair but he's he's balding and i'm just like yo dad just cut it he got the george jefferson and he just refuses to give his hair up he's not he's like no i'm good like all right like you know i don't know how long you gonna hold on to it but and it's full every on the side and in the back is full but in the middle it ain't, it ain't nothing it ain't nothing and put some dax on it you know keep it shiny some oils but 
ain't nothing there um i guess that's it you guys because i'm tired and i'm just rambling i don't really have anything else to say chunky done got in his bed you guys i done changed cooper's food i put enough food i put enough water so he can have for the next few days um I'm gonna try to put some outfits together and see what I could come up with. And um, I'll obviously be vlogging tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to get this stuff to you guys fast. Please bear with me, you guys, especially when you're, you're seeing videos that might be like months old. It's because I, I vlog a lot. I do vlog a lot. I just don't have the time to edit daily, you know? And I'm not gonna call myself a week a weekly vlogger or everyday vlogger because I vlog whenever. It's random. It's not planned out. Nothing's ever like oh you da 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 da. Like I do. I don't even have a schedule. I my plan has been to try to upload three videos a week. I've been doing like two. I haven't reached three yet because it's the editing. It's the editing for me. <laughs> so um, you know I got to give a shout out to my girl Sarkaz. I know I talk about Sarkaz a lot, but, you know, she the homie. She from Brooklyn. She's New York. Like, it's just, like, those are my people. She, yo, she is on a schedule. Well, she's a Virgo, too. <laughs> this is another reason why we click. She makes sure that she has her videos done and edited every Monday and every Friday, like, clockwork. It's, it's such a good schedule. And she... I feel like she's trained her audience like you know on Mondays in the morning and on Fridays in the morning she's gonna have a new video out so you're always looking for it and you're trained you're like cuz I know I am I know on Mondays I'm like oh shit you know if I'm not busy if I don't have like meetings in the morning or something like that and I'm just in my office kind of catching up on paperwork making phone calls or whatever listening to phone calls checking emails I got my iPad and I'm usually like, oh, I got to watch my girl saw Cass. I got to make sure Cass crew come through and support my girl. And I try to never miss a video. Um, and especially because I have no excuse. I know on Monday and Fridays, she's going to be uploaded. And I think that's so dope. I don't know if I'll ever get to that point. You inspire me to be better. I don't know if I'm ever going to get to that point. But those who have been watching me for a long time, y'all can tell. Y'all can even leave in the comments how much better I am than I used to be. I respond to everybody's comments. I'm uploading every few days, you know, at least twice a week. Um, I think I'm doing a lot better than I used to. I used to be terrible, you guys. I was the worst, worst vlogger ever and people still watch i just never understood it like i mean i did lose a lot of subscribers because people couldn't keep up with what was going on because i was so inconsistent like you can't make a video on you know in july and then come back in september like like you wasn't going for mad months and expect people to still be communicating with you like it just doesn't work it doesn't work and i know for myself look i'm still talking i know for myself like people that are not consistent i don't get the connection to them like i end up like if their video pops up and somebody like sarcast video pops up that i'm like connected to her now like i'm trying to figure out what's going on next in her life what she's talking about because she's consistent so you're able to follow her journey right so if her video and somebody that uploads every once in a blue pops up who video you think i'm clicking on i'm clicking on the person that i'm already connected to i'm clicking on the person who's consistent because i i feel more connected i feel more invested in you than somebody who is uploading once a month you know so it, it just is what it is and i used to be that person that once a month person or once whenever and it's just it's just horrible you can't really properly um provide what your people want you know and if the people people your regulars the people that are watching you they watch you for a reason and that's for everybody i don't care if you're a vlogger you talk about home decor you talk about crafting whatever it is that you talk about it has to be consistent to keep the people who are interested watching you know i like i said i don't put myself in no boxes i'm not just a vlogger i'm not you know just a whatever i'm an all around person i like to do a little bit of everything um i do whatever i want if there's something that's new that pops up and i want to do it or talk about it i am you know and they, i think i have pockets of people that are interested in everything that i talk about just because they like who i am they like my personality they like that i joke you know whatever witty whatever it is or 
I'm sorry, not or, and I have people that may like my vlogs, but may not be interested in what I'm holding, you know, like, this bitch again with a motherfucking hole, like, you know, like, like, they might not be interested in that, but they are consistently watching my vlogs, or vice versa, people may be interested in seeing what I'm buying, but they ain't really interested in what the fuck going on in my life, you know, like, so, it's that, it's that, it's that mix of people, but also don't limit yourselves, whatever you want to do on your channel, do it, don't let people put you in a box, and I've said this for years, because people do try to do that to you, you know, you start out one way, you talk about certain things, people get to know you for that, and then if you step out the box, people mad at you. Let them be mad. The people that really are supposed to be there, supposed to be a part of your tribe, and are really there to support you for the right reasons, whatever you do, they're going to be there because they are interested in you. And that's it. I'm so, so much. Bye. Talk to y'all tomorrow. We're going to Maine.